This is our X keys jog and shuttle controller. So you have this little jog mechanism here and this little shuttle controller here. Um, let's go over exactly what I have set up in my shortcut template for this. So I actually will bring this out when I'm by myself and it gives me a lot more flexibility on the replay side. So you saw how I had the small section on the T-bar controller, but this just takes it to a, a whole nother level. And if you have a separate replay operator, he can use this controller to do pretty much all the functions within uh, vMix Replay. You'll notice I have a couple of blockers here. It's not a special keyboard or anything. I, I put that there because my hand tends to sit here when I'm using this. I tend to kind of operate it like this in and out points, jogging back and forth. So it just felt weird with having buttons there. So that's kind of what I did there. Let's quickly go over everything. Uh, in marks an endpoint, out marks an out point. Play plays the uh, selected event. Play all events will play all the events in a playlist. I may use words like playlist and event. Those are interchangeable. I'm sorry, I'm a three play EVS guy, so playlist may come into play. <laughs> event uh, in and event out. Like if you already made a replay event, that will change the endpoint and the out point of that event. Uh, play event will play the selected event. These kind of do the same thing, but in my mind, having them broken out is a good thing. These little arrows here are forward and back arrows, speed plus and minus 20%, just the same as the arrows on the T-bar. So if you wanna go faster, slower, forward or back. Up here though, you have your A and B, your red and blue. These actually take and select the cameras just like on the T-bar. So if we wanna put camera one into replay A, camera two, replay A out, camera three, replay out and so forth. And this does B. Um, I'm actually gonna switch over to the full screen of vMix Replay because when I run this controller, this is usually what I use. So you can see here now, if I select these cameras, it's changing them in output A and output B. So that's how you can run a two channel replay. This live button up here takes you in and out of like your record and edit mode. Um, when you're in the live mode, you're gonna be looking at the cameras in real time. When you're in your edit mode or EDE, if you're a uh, EVS guy, uh, you will actually be working within the clips. So if I hit this live button, it's, it's gonna bring in the cameras as they are now, which are black. And if I hit it again, it's gonna take me out. I'm back in my edit mode looking at the playlist clips I have here. These blue buttons along the top are my playlist, or as vMix likes to call them, events, but I don't know how you have events and an event. So <laughs> events are a playlist, and an event is something you add to a events. So. I, I call these playlists, but VMix likes to call them events. So if you select uh, one, it brings up playlist or events one, two, playlist two, playlist three, playlist four, playlist five, playlist six. I have never made it to seven and eight by myself and I haven't had a show where I've needed that. So it didn't work with the symmetry of the controller to add two more buttons. It just didn't look right. So that's why I don't have seven and eight programmed into here. Uh, record, stop and record. Seems a little redundant but vMix does not have a shortcut where I can turn it on and off with one button press. So record will start recording, which put me into live, and then record stop will stop the recording of all the cameras and bring me back into the edit mode. And just to show you how this live button works, if I hit record here, you see the live button right here is, is lit up red. Uh, if I hit live again, my record's still flashing over here. It shows that I'm recording, and it shows I'm recording on in a vMix here. But now I'm in, uh, you know, I'm in an edit mode. I can go in here and change some things. If I hit my Y button again, boom, I'm right back to where my cameras are live, which they would be here if I had some cameras in here. I'm gonna hit my stop record button. Now my record light's gone away. My live button's gone away. My red's not flashing anymore. So that's how those work. These yellow one, two, three, four E buttons actually turn event cameras on and off. So how is that different than these uh, red and blue buttons. So if I want to send just camera one out to uh, my replay channel A output, I could hit one and you see there it's switched over to camera one. It's, it's firing out. Well, if you notice there's these little red squares here, that's saying if I play this playlist out, it's going to play the camera two look and the camera three look simultaneously because they're both checked. It'll completely ignore camera one. Well, let's say that camera two blew the shot, I can actually hit this two button here and it's gonna now take that off. 
So if you see, there's no little red square there. So if it plays this event, it's only going to play, oops, it's only going to play uh, camera three look. Now let's say that camera two did a fairly decent job. Um, I'm actually going to select that event and I'm going to turn camera two back on. Boop, it's back on. So that's what these buttons do. They turn the cameras on and off on your events. I haven't touched the mouse to do a lot of this stuff. Uh, these previous and next event buttons actually allow you to go up and down in your events window. So pressing next goes down, pressing up goes up. This event up and event down button will actually take an event and move it down or move it up. Now, I don't want to mess with this too much because I have these in sequential order, but if I wanted to take this event and slide it all the way down to the bottom, I could. I'm going to bring it back up to the top. We can see our numerical order here. Keep it in order, right? So we're at 98. Um, that's going to be before our last event. So we want to move it down right there, right? So now we've got 92, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Cool. We're in order. So that's how these buttons work. So these next blue purple buttons here uh, correspond to actually the playlist one, two, three, and four, just like this, but it does something a little different. So let's go over to playlist one here and let's use our keys here to find a shot we like. Let's say we like this replay and we wanna add it to a rollout. Well, we have a blank uh, playlist here, playlist four, that I want to make my rollout. So now I'm going to take and I'm going to hit, uh, let me actually get back to one I like here, that one. Now that it's selected, I'm going to hit this blue button here that's label four, and it's going to actually copy that event over into four. So now I have that event in four. Let's go back to one. Let's find another one here. Let's just look at a different camera. There, let's, uh, let's take that guy. Let's add him to four. So now we have two events and four. My hands have not touched the computer yet. No mouse, no keyboard, all right here on the controller, okay? Now, if we want to play these events out, all I had to do is hit play all. It's gonna play through what cameras are selected. Hopefully they got good looks. It looks like camera three there had a good look on that one. So it's gonna cross this all over to two. It's got three playing out, so yeah. Um, now, while this is playing out, this is, a, this is actually a good time to show this. I'm going to hit the play event button again. And you'll, if you'll watch, I can actually switch the camera sources live, even though I have the event with camera one selected. So let's play all these out again. And you can see here, I can actually switch through these cameras live if I want to, using the buttons on the controller. Like, I, I'm not tied to the event itself once the event starts playing. So that's that's how these buttons kind of come into play. So if, if you had a director, you could always show, you know, camera three, let's roll that guy again. You could always have camera three, you know, in B, and camera one uh, in A, or vice versa. So he could see both looks of the play. See there, it's switched over. I could put one back into A uh, if I didn't have my event selected. So having the flexibility of those buttons here is, is pretty awesome. It's pretty fantastic. Um, let's go over the actual like fun things of controls. So I'm going to call it my playlist three, which is actually a uh, playlist of full game highlights we did. And like, let's play with this jog and shuttle controller. So the outside ring here does a fast jog forward. And it's kind of variable. It's a little touchy, but you can get, you can get haul and butt pretty quick. Um, or the center ring does a frame step forward and a frame step back. Now, this is built into the shortcut template that I'm giving you, but one little secret is you'll notice there are two shortcuts for this zero position. Uh, if you see my activators here, when I go backwards, and it's lit up blue saying, hey, you're going backwards, you might wanna double check that, but if I go stop, it switches back to forwards. There's actually a two shortcuts here for zero. Zero not only stops the replay from moving, but it also puts it in forward. Uh, I was, there was times where I'd be, you know, oh, there it is, oh, I missed the hike, let me go back, let me go back, uh, let me just jog this back, jog this back, boom. And I would still be in reverse, and then hit play to play it out, and it would be going backwards instead of forwards. So I set this shortcut to always go forward when this guy hits zero. It's been, it's been a lifesaver. So now that we have a, uh, an, uh, 
playlist that we've created of full game highlights. Let me show you how these speed controls work and how the forward and back works. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this playlist out. All right, now he's running, we're gonna slow it down. We got our, our speed control, just like on the T-bar, plus and minus, right? Well, let's say we wanna take that back. We can actually just instantly grab that center frame, that center uh, shuttle wheel there. And we can actually go frame by frame, right? See where his knee's down there, boop. Oop. And this is all going out live. I'm not doing anything. If I let this go, it doesn't keep playing. I have to hit my, my play button here, and it's going to keep up with the speed I was going. But it's nice that you can instantly grab this guy and go back or forward. It's, it almost acts like your, your T-bar on a traditional uh, replay controller. Let's slow that down. All this function is right here. Um, now, this is still playing out these group of events. So if this was a full game highlights that I'm sending out, right, I can let this play through. I'm just gonna go ahead and let it do its thing and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here's the next play. Let's watch A. So he scrambles back. He's looking for an open man. It looks like it's a deflection. He grabs it and then he runs back. It's, oh my goodness, it's a, it's a, it's a crazy play that's off a of deflection. I know that my game camera caught that, but I also see that my field camera caught it. I'm actually gonna slow this down right here because I can't slow things down in the events themselves. So we see the deflection, we see him grab the ball, and then boom, he's off to the races, we're back out. So even within the playlist, I still have full control. I can see down at the bottom of vMix that I've got about a minute and a half left in this kind of full game highlights. And it's it, the flexibility that you get with one of these X keys trollers combined with vMix replay is just unbelievable. I mean, if you had a setup like this, that was offered via three play, um, it would cost you a ton of money. I mean, look at this throw here. I wanna, this is the, the pick six by the other team. There they go. But that kind of concludes it. That's kind of everything. You have a, a play button here to start and stop everything. All of your keys are pretty much here. I'm sure I'll probably add more down the road, but that's pretty much the basic template that I have set up right now for the X keys jog and shuttle controller.